Bronco from USA, 242 and a half. The type of weight that Charles has been shifting in training has the powerlifting community a buzz, but he's got to deliver on the platform. Look. Depth is good. Oh, wow. Smooth all the way through. Yeah. Good opening lift. Into Charles Okpoko from the USA. Second squat looking for the world record. 255.5. He is uber confident. Blowing at the crowd. He's good. He knows he's good. But the proof is in the pudding. Wasn't a whole lot of work either. No, a surprisingly smooth yeah. attempt. Expect him to hit he the platform. He just got the world record at 255.5. Oh, now Kopp. he wants 263. Yeah, he's going to be fired up for this one. Uber Cup, look at him. He loves it. This is his moment, and he's going to own it. Super comfortable on the walkout compared to his usual walkout. Oh, oh, he handles the weight very, very he well. He is so strong. He is so strong. strong. And he has brought the path his game. You'll notice managing his intensity, coming out for his bench opener, a stark contrast to how he came out for his last squat. And that's how you save it for the big lifts. If you try to expand it on every single lift, you're never going to have the big pulls by the time the end of the day rolls around. Yeah, look, and it's really hard to manage too because when you bring up that hype for that, say, for that third uh, squat and then all of a sudden you've got to calm down again uh, for your bench press, it can really actually drop you too low in your performance. So it's a really tough thing to manage. You know, but he puts that one on the board neatly. And Charles, again, holding serve. No need to hype himself up, get too crazy. He's got a lot left in the tank, but you got to pick your spots. He's got the lead. He's just maintaining it at this point. See if anyone's going to threaten him. Yeah, just going to hold in there. And if Berglund, you know, it's a big if. I think Berglund can do it. But if Berglund falls back, he's only got one guy he's really got to worry about with a glad kick unless we have more surprises. And if ever there's an unless, it's in powerlifting. Mm, you have to work a little bit for that one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> he's not bothered. He's not worried. It is worth a question because I can see oh. Gaston, Parage, IPF, IPF president. president, standing up, talking to the referees. We'll see. But yeah. right now, all eyes on this platform. 175, Charles Opoko. Chinese Taipei lift has been overturned. It's a good lift. Oh, he's had to work for that one. Yeah, a little bit of turbulence on the way up. Locked it out. And he's got the two red lights for a bit of up-down movement as well. You could tell how serious he takes the weight with how amped up he, he comes out. And um, he's obviously not expecting too much of a fight. And quite frankly, I'm not either. I think it'll fly. He's hit 275. This is well below that. Yeah. Oh. 62 and a half. Oh. And look at gold medal still not out of reach for a glide kick um, as He's well. Still just sitting there waiting to see what happens. This would put Charles at 695, and glide kick is hit heavier than that. So work is not done. But Charles is just getting amped up for the deadlift event. And that looks pretty smooth. That moves pretty yeah. well. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Opoko for the U.S. 
He has the gold medal locked away. This is going to be for the total record as well. Just 24 years of age. Gold deadlift, gold overall, world record total. Wow! And he takes it to the top. And you were wondering why he was confident. And he owns it. He's got the gold medal. He's got the world total record as well. Sai takes silver from, from Gladke, and Gladke takes home the bronze. A lot of times, it's just the tunes you play. It very well could just be the tunes, baby!